So welcome back to my channel guys. I am Ovi Duran. I moved up here to upstate New York recently, maybe about two months ago, and I'm building a homestead from scratch. Yes, you heard that right. I'm building a homestead from scratch. And just a few seconds ago, Chris Wemple just left. He dropped me off a bunch of logs for my splitter. Yeah, well, first I need to cut them with the chainsaw, uh, split them up and store them away now i plan to season it for a couple of months not a whole lot of time and the reason is because i already have that seasoned wood inside and i don't have a whole lot of seasoned wood so eventually i'm gonna use this for the uh, wood boiler there it is the wood boiler so yeah i'm super excited and it's a lot cheaper to buy the logs than it is to buy the seasoned pre-cut wood it's a lot cheaper so and by the way Chris Wemple he is the son of Brian who brought me that split wood uh, several weeks ago and he suggested that maybe I would uh, or I should use uh, uh, logs if I was gonna buy a splitter which I which I did and now wow and now I can start uh, cutting and splitting this lo these logs now look at these logs. They are a lot thinner than these. Now all of these are softwoods and these are hardwoods. So for the boiler, I need a combination of both. I mean, ideally it will be nice to use nothing but hardwoods, but they are more expensive. Okay, so, so I'm gonna cut some of this like tomorrow, maybe the day after, I don't know. Uh, because I have, I have a ton of projects uh, ahead of me, but look. So I have cherries, maple, and uh, a few other uh, species of trees here. Yeah, how about that? Now, I just got an education from Chris when he brought his truck and he was offloading this here. I've never seen that before that you know uh, there's a lot of first for me here in uh, upstate New York and I look forward to getting my chainsaw ready tomorrow and start cutting if not the day after but anyway wow I'm making a lot of progress here oh and in case that you guys want to know how much this is about a little bit more than six than six cords so probably seven and it cost about six hundred six hundred fifty dollars for all of this and now that's that's uh relatively cheap it is it's not seasoned however it's all hardwood and this is my softwood here ah this is wow so much bigger check it out guys i got softwood softwood a couple of softwoods down here a bunch of other softwoods over there <sighs> yeah it isn't a lot of work by the way it's just i don't know entertainment that's the way i see it i see all this as entertainment believe it or not and i'm gonna learn a whole lot about wood cutting splitting over the next uh year or more so right now i know nothing about this i'm just learning as i go and you guys are going to learn uh, along with me if you already don't know so yeah lots of adventures and the good thing about all this is i spent a whole lot of time outside and uh i don't drive my wife crazy you know the good thing about this shed is that it's, it doubles as two sheds so when i split this wood and the other one i have plenty of space over there to store it so yeah so right now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna do my daily half mile walk over to my mailbox yeah sun's going down looking kind of reddish tonight but yes everything today has gone fantastic 
No sooner than I got done cleaning the uh, wood boiler that Chris showed up with the uh, logs. And I can see myself there or spending a lot of time there for hours and hours. I see it as hours of enjoyment. I don't know, what do you think guys? Which one of you has had to cut wood from logs and split them? Put it in the comments below. And by the way, no deer today. But as some of you remember, a few weeks ago, I saw eight turkeys and I recorded them for a few seconds. I just hope that those turkeys return a week before Thanksgiving. I just need one. Now, as you know, I'm building a homestead from scratch and hopefully next year, I like to have uh, at least two turkeys. I'm planning on chickens, turkeys, maybe geese, maybe ducks, maybe guineas. Guineas, they love to eat ticks. And a lot of people up here, for that reason, they have guineas and they just let them root loose. They let them roam free range and they eat all the ticks on your land. Now the year after, uh, pigs, maybe goats, maybe sheep, I don't know. I'm just gonna go along with the flow and whatever happens, happens. It's the next day guys, so today, we're gonna cut some wood, but before, I'm gonna reattach the chain to my Echo chainsaw. But first, I'm gonna add some gas and oil to it. And I'm gonna use this ethanol free fuel. And I'm also going to add some bar and chain oil. I'm also checking the air filter and it is relatively new. I believe I changed it about a year ago. Haven't used it since. All right, so now I'm gonna put the, uh, the bar in the chain. All right guys, so now I'm gonna put the chain on. I bought an Oregon. 16 inch chain Here it is guys new chain guys so we're gonna test the chainsaw here in a second I'm gonna cut uh, a couple of branches here in the woods in the back of my house uh, just to test it make sure it works just fine before I start cutting logs so let me go get it and I'm gonna start with this branch here Okay guys, so as you saw, it works pretty good. But before we go any further, I'm gonna show you some gear that I bought. The gear is safety gear. 